725, thank you so much for sticking around. I am joined now with Margaret Elliott. She's the Executive Director of Crisis Control Ministry, and today we're talking more about Hope Du Jour. Margaret, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us about the event? Sure, Hope Du Jour is a wonderful event. We have now 140 restaurants wow. that are participating, and they agreed to give Crisis Control Ministry 10% of their proceeds. Uh -huh. For, to help crisis control, to help other people in our community who are uh, experiencing crisis situations in their life. And crisis control, you guys have been around for the past 44 years. What That's exactly right. does that do for the triad? We are the largest provider of emergency assistance. So that's helping people with basic life needs, such as paying rent and mortgage um, and utility payments. We have a food pantry. We also have um, North Carolina State First License Free Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And we also offer classes to folks uh, so that they can learn more about budgeting, money management to prevent right. crises. And we do poverty simulations in town so that we can educate the community about what mm. it's like to live in poverty so that we can all do a better job of making this a better community for everyone. And going back to the event, this is the year 27th, right? So what That's makes right. this so successful? Oh my gosh, it's just, I mean, what, what a better event just yeah. to go out to eat. I always yeah. say go out to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, ice cream, snacks, whatever you want to do. Um, to support these restaurants, we always have this the first Tuesday in the month of May. Uh -huh. uh, Tuesday is typically a low, a low day for restaurants. Right, right. So we really appreciate our restaurants who agree to participate. They're the ones that are giving up some of the proceeds uh, for their day. But really, we want to draw people to the restaurants to support them, which in turn supports crisis control uh, last year we supported about 17,000 people in our community who wow. needed our assistance. Uh, so we're grateful for, this is a win-win-win situation for everyone. And that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, if folks want to get more information, how can they reach you guys or how can they find those details? There's a great uh, website called hopedujour.org. So we welcome everyone to go to that website and mm -hmm. to uh, pick out your favorite restaurant and go out to eat on Tuesday. It's an easy fundraiser. Yeah. And of course, if you miss any of this information at home, we'll post this interview online and also on the WXI mobile app. 727, let's send it over to Gene DeVecchio for a check of that forecast.